probably the hardest part, seeing just families, families pouring out of there um, and knowing that 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 happened in there while they were just probably trying to have a family night. Now at six, a massive manhunt for the suspect who gunned down dozens of people in a mass shooting spanning two locations in Lewiston, Maine. We want to warn you, some of these details are disturbing. Right now, investigators are scouring the city of Lewiston to find Robert Card, whom they're calling a person of interest. He is considered armed and dangerous. Here's what we know at this hour. At, le at least 16 people are confirmed dead, though there are reports the death toll could be more than 20. At least 60 people are hurt. The first shooting happened at a bowling alley, which was hosting a youth night. Then investigators say the suspect opened fire at a restaurant about four miles away. As you can imagine, the community is in shock. Well, there's fear, there's panic. Of course, there's worry, understandable. I mean, this is an all hands on deck situation. Um, so yeah, they've, you can train for this, but you can never be completely prepared. Investigators found what they think is Card's car in nearby Lisbon. Card is a certified firearms instructor and a member of the Army Reserves. Let's get right to Noel Ford at the live desk. Uh, it's not just, you know, the city of Lewiston that's on edge this morning, Noel. That's right, Angelica. Actually, this was just announced a few minutes ago. A major northeast grocery chain, Hannaford Supermarkets, they're going to close every single store in the state. That is 58 locations just because of the manhunt going on. And then Maine police are advising residents of Bowdoin to shelter in place as they continue to search for that person of interest. Bowdoin College is closed today, as well as multiple other school districts in the area. So let's take a live look into Lewiston, where police are still searching searching for the person of interest. And then schools are closed there as well as in Lisbon. But this is reaching over 30 miles away. Portland Maine schools announced a few hours ago that they're closed. They have 6,500 students and this is the largest school district. So we really see this affecting the whole state. I mean, an entire grocery chain closing 58 yeah. stores, Angelica. It's just... This could be a really tough search. I mean, Maine is really rural all mm -hmm. the way up to the Canadian border, so it could be a while. Uh, thank you for watching that for us, Noel. Stick with K2 as we continue to track the latest out of Maine. When we are not on the air, you can get the latest updates online at katu.com and our social media pages.